sensing technologies are playing a vital role in modern day life. Extending from environmental monitoring for water use efficiency on the driest inhabited continent on Earth, to traffic flow control for structural loading in our most congested cities. At Monash University, we are making important contributions to new sensing technologies and in applying existing sensing technologies in new and novel ways. We've developed airborne simulators of new satellite missions for NASA and ESA. Through our membership on their science teams, these simulators are allowing the soil moisture algorithms to be matured before the satellites are launched and to validate their results after launch through intensive ground monitoring of soil moisture and related variables. This will deliver more accurate flood forecasts, weather forecasting, drought monitoring and more efficient use of our precious water resources. We're also developing new ground and proximal base sensing technologies that will allow farmers to map the soil moisture content across their farm while they undertake their normal farming operations. This enables farmers to plant crops at optimal times and depths, informs fertiliser requirements and even helps determine when to harvest, resulting in reduced cost of consumables while maximising crop yields. Monash is developing techniques to measure rainfall and evapotranspiration using the signals between mobile phone towers. This novel approach will overcome limitations of rain gauges and will provide path-integrated rainfall data, important water balance information and considerably improve weather forecasting. Monash University has an instrumented car which is providing key information on driver-to-driver -driver behaviour including biometric information on the driver for assessing their physiochemical response to driving situations, along with physical information on lane positioning, vehicle accelerations and separations. Such real-world data allows driving simulator results where more extreme scenarios can be tested to be translated to traffic flow driver and behaviour models. Application of such information includes the development of traffic loading models for key assets and sensor-based control to ensure that the loading is not exceeded, with structural health monitoring used as real-time feedback to the traffic flow system.